So guys, I'm doing yes. poetry events yes. all week and I'm going to be vlogging it. So this is Tuesday but I'll send you back to when Monday me. What's up everyone? I'm in the forest here. So it's the 2nd of September and I'm in Battersea Park. Uh, I got a ticket for Life and Rhymes. Gonna watch some awesome poets do their thing and hopefully see if I can get on and do my thing as well. So um, hopefully I get to do one piece and then I have a bit of history that I can claim when I'm older and say I was on Sky Arts Life and Rhymes. So we'll see how it goes. So I don't really know what to expect to be fair, but um, from here I can see the bandstand and it's looking beautiful, there's like fairy lights and stuff. Um, so let me show you when I get closer. It's been an awesome journey. I wanted to get to Life on Rhymes last year, but never got around to it. So it's just really nice to be a bit more secure in who I am as a poet, having a bit of time in the scene, getting to know some of the poets. So like coming to an event like this at least, I know some familiar faces and yeah man everyone's been cool i've learned a lot from the greats still learning and i'm about to get schooled again today so let's let's see what it looks like there you go there's the bandstand look i found some poets already what's up everyone yeah i'm vlogging i'm vlogging again see look look at woodsy man yo woodsy yo you gotta talk the fit man like what are you wearing what are you wearing <laughs> <laughs> so give me some round of applause and we'll speak to you guys later. Thank you. What's up people? Well for us this is day two when really it's day four of Sky Arts Life and Rhymes. So I got a second ticket. I put my name up for the open mic, but I didn't get chosen. So I'm going to try and do it again. See if I can uh, perform a piece on TV. I'm walking through this long ass park. But it's cool because it's sunny, which is uncharacteristically London right now. A little background into some of the poets. Sarah Callahan is a comedian and she does so much other things. She's a Swiss army knife. Uh, she can do anything and everything. Hazel is the CEO of Shits and Scribbles. They actually had me for one of their headliners. And Big Scoop is an ex-battle rapper. He probably still does battle, but he um, recently started doing poetry two years ago. I was at one of his major, first major gigs which was at London Bridge, um, Poets versus MCs, and the Poets won. And actually, uh, Big Scoop was on the side of the Poets. in the building, yay! Vlogging, I'm vlogging. <laughs> I'm a mixture of happy birth and Mike Spill. Poetry is my therapy, it helps to control triggers. I make spelling mistakes and speaking slang. I say in it a lot, it really annoys my nan. Um, this is England meets Saudi. I still had an affair with a married guy despite all the warnings. I learned more about life looking at my niece's drawings, no different any book or teacher, they were just boring. I'm passionate, I'm angry, I speak too fast, some people don't understand me. I get sad a lot and I push people away. The right people will always come back into your life, don't they? Don't they? I'm hard like the streets with a stage pens of a doll. I have faith in my heart so I can adapt if I fell. I can connect with everyone in this room. I've been feeling like these poems are for you, like I'm talking just to you. And that's not a skill you practice, that just means I'm human. My name is Sarah Callahan. I'm a comedian, writer, actor, author, drummer, poet, and a dreamer, a true love believer, a live music disciple, and an expert pain healer. I've been to the depths of hell and come out stronger because the devil ain't around my neck no longer. I can't be boxed or packaged, that's a fake fucking machine. I ain't part of no gang or clique. I float about keeping my hands clean. I'm in my own lane. 
I carve my own path. The only poets that make me cry, they make me laugh. I laugh hard, I feel everything. I wish I didn't, I wish I didn't, I wish I didn't. But I do. That's why I do what I do. I have no other choice. If I don't keep talking, I'm scared I'll lose my voice. So when agents and producers don't know what to do with me, I say, suck my dick, because I'm not changing to anybody. Like, how can you sell something you can't describe? I just say, look, I'm good, or I swear on my life. This is my life. Even if I get no recognition until I'm 85, you will remember my name eventually. Once I'm finished, you'll be looking at the difference. I'm Sarah Callahan, free to son of my back of heart, the fear of the spirit. And that's the best description I can think of in it. Fucking plane. Join that plane. ill and obsolete. She seeks the feet of my every heart beat, especially when I weep myself to sleep, because she knows the pain pushes her power to increase. She's an evil entity whose sole goal is to enter thee, past parts that hurt relentlessly. She loves to grasp dark cursed memories and speaks to me the outlandish language of anguish. Endlessly, her intensity cuts through me like an incision. She has a vicious vision that's erratic and savage. Her habit is something I can no longer manage. She's a thunderous force born from hell, here to cast spells on the frail who dwell. When she's lurking, I feel nervous and tense, overloaded with a sense of manic panic. The breath from my lungs have vanished. She forces me to ridicule my reflection. She is the reason I stare at the ceiling and believe in deceiving feelings. She sparks the start of rights in me violently. Who is she? Anxiety. Obviously, I'm in Poetics, it's Tuesday. I'm with like RS. We're gonna do a necklace exchange. We're gonna do a necklace exchange, and then we've got like Rian Brooke here. And yeah, so next week, Wednesday, she'll be like headlining uh, it Mind Over Matter at Brixton. Yeah, so if I've got money, you'll see me go there. If I've got money. But yeah, let's do the necklace exchange. And obviously, we've got Liv there, a couple of cans. I saw I was late night. Jay. Jay, cool, wicked. And I'll, I'll, I'll pop the Instagram in the on the screen. Okay, cool, here we go. Let's say we go, there you go, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So like, there you go. Jeez. And then and, and, anoint me, anoint me, sir. Oh, anoint me, Jeez. Yeah, yeah. So you feel I feel like I need to double land that, so. Oh, the double looks good, actually. Yeah, that's cool. I feel like... Oh, they do, yeah. I, I try to get my socks to match as well. Yeah, shiny. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. You know what, yeah, I feel... I feel like when... Lancer gets his ring. Oh yeah. And it's just bare got no powers. rings, no rings today. It's just powers. Okay, and he's the man's got bracelet game too. Yeah, like, game, bracelet yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Jeez. one came from Ghana. Well, a Ghanaian man on top of Fort Road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got legends, we've got Lay, we've got Scott, and we've got Holly D, all featuring for Poetics today. My Obviously, we're gonna host up Rohan and then Ria Brooks. Yeah! Jeez, it's so cool, yeah. man. And we've got the whole crew up at her. Hi, I'm Holly D. I'm a spoken word poet from South and on Sea in Essex. And I've got three pieces I want to share with you. Yeah, I was going to do some music. This is like, not. I'm going to write. I'm going to perform some poetry for you guys. Um, Love, life, and prosperity, everyone. Um, yeah, yeah. I go by several names. Um, Lay Speaks, Legend, yes. Gabriel, yes. Ayanda, Vincent Van Gogh. Um, tonight, I just want to take you on a bit of a journey. This one is definitely up there. I love this format. This is so cool because, I mean, how many events can you go to where you can actually ask the poets there? 
you know, their process, what inspires them, what's driven them. I think, I mean, when I came to watch the first one, I was like, this is so cool. I think I sat at the front smiling. I was like, I've got a question. Took like, oh, thank you. I didn't know that. Like, I think it's just an awesome format. So thank you for hosting it and like, give us this platform for a while. Uh, the event I told you about, the, um, the Village Green in Chalkwell in, in Essex, that was like my first headliner and it came out of the blue, it came out of nowhere and it was just such a, you know, not that you need validation, it was a validation I didn't know that I needed because obviously sharing your vulnerability is a scary thing anyway and you're literally telling people your life. So yeah, I think the validation I got from these people coming up to me after talking about anxiety, mental health, and there was one lady who was like, have you got this filmed? And I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm not really a poet. I'm, oh, have you got any social media? Oh, no, I am, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this. And she was like, oh, I wanna show my daughter that video. She said, cause she's really struggling and the way I see it is exactly how you perform PA. Mm -hmm. She said, and I feel like she saw that, she wouldn't feel so like alone. And that moved me like, massively i was like wow i've connected with this woman who's feeling like she can connect with her daughter you know and it's just there's just so many facets to it it was just incredible <laughs>
serious pieces because I really get validation from laughs. But um, something's been going on in the news recently, which you probably noticed, which is the Texas six-week abortion ban. And uh, I just really needed to say something about it. It's I wrote it yesterday, so it's not Shakespeare. And how you know that is because this is because this piece is called Contradiction, <laughs> as in contra. Dick? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not Shakespeare, but I've got a point to make. So I'm going to do this one quickly, and then we'll finish on a brighter note, I promise. Okay. <clears throat> they don't want us frigid, don't want us prudish, don't want us rejecting them when they're not in their mood for it. Don't know which is the urethra, the vagina, or the clit, but sure will tell us how we should use each bit. <laughs> Don't want us to get pregnant, but do want to come inside it. And then we have to endure that sensation of jizz making its exit. Don't want us taking the pill because if it happens, it's God's will. But will God labor? Or will God bleed? And will God be there for the 3 a.m. feed? Don't want us pregnant if it means they have to keep paying our salary. Don't want us bloated, moping, depressed. Don't want to research why our hormones are a mess, but if theirs had them hot flushing like a waterlogged walrus, I guess then they'd be willing to invest. <laughs> Don't want us losing our tight virginal vaginas. Don't want us old, sexless and childless. Don't like wearing condoms in case it takes away sensation. Don't mind taking ours for good with some mutilation. Don't want us getting our tubes tied in case they feel like having a child. Don't want us to utilise financial support when we've had a baby we can't afford. Don't want us to abort unless it's their choice and when they erase our choice they won't raise their voice. Don't want us to make a fuss when they murder, assault and rape us. Don't want us unshaven, don't want us untucked, don't want us ageing, don't want us unplucked, don't want us cold, don't want us love struck. But my God, do they always want to fuck. <laughs> I met this guy and he was like, yeah, you know, I got my job, we're giving carnations to all of our fake female co-workers. I was like, great fucking job for giving us carnations, thank you so much. Um, so that's the kind of, I don't know if that's a thing in England, is it? In, no, well, sorry. Well, now you should be introduced to the cultural differences. In Croatia, they give you a carnation on the International Women's Day. This is kind of like a pretty flower, I guess. So, yeah. So this is the song to this guy that I've met. Keep your fucking carnation. <laughs> Say it again! Yes. Say it again! Yes. Say it again! Keep your fucking carnations and give me my body back. Mm. Take it, break it, make it, smack like a snack, a shame, a praise, attack. Keep your fucking carnations, but give me my body back. Mm. Give me an open street so I can run unseen, unheard, untouched. Keep your fucking carnations and give me my body back. Breasts with no milk and pants stained with blood. Keep your fucking carnations and give me my body back. Hairy, slick, thin or thick, nothing's ever good enough. Naked, covered, undiscovered, never really off the cuff. Bossy, juicy, you're a pussy, best compliment of all. Caring, daring, child bearing, both a mother and a whore. Breasts with no milk and pants drained with blood. Keep your fucking carnations and give me my body back. Give me free school meals, Uber rides without sharing my location, tampons and pads and the rights to my own ovulation. An open street, a job, a house, a safe home, keep your fucking carnations and leave me the fuck alone. It's been genuinely incredible. Thank you all so much for coming. You've been an amazing audience. So thank you very much for the features. Thank you so much for the open micers. Give it up to yourself as well. Yeah, that's making it. <laughs>